Uh, this is going to be a bit different. So, y'all might notice that, you know, where I usually put my splits, you know, my timer below me, has been replaced by a black box. Uh, if you will look at that black box now, you will see a number. That number is currently zero, mostly because I haven't done anything. So, you may ask, what do I plan on doing today? Well, one of the categories on the speedrun.com leaderboards is blindfolded percent, where you try to beat six levels in endless mode while blindfolded. I will not be doing that, because that sounds like absolute torture. Instead, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going into the story mode and seeing how many of these levels I can beat while blindfolded. There are 120 levels, you know, you get one, two, three, four, you know, those are num numbered all the way through 90, right? And then all the other ones are unnumbered, there are 30 of those, so there are 120 levels in the story mode. My challenge today is to see how many of these I can beat while blindfolded. Now, I don't have a proper blindfold on me, but I do have a black t-shirt that uh, should do in a pinch, which I am currently in. So, right now, I have beaten none of these levels blindfolded. I have no idea how I'm gonna, gonna go about beating these. I'm just gonna spend the rest of the stream trying to beat as many as I can. There are definitely some of these I have absolutely no confidence in whatsoever, and some I think I might have a shot at. So... <laughs> This is going to be a train wreck in so many ways, but so satisfying in the process. The first level I'm going to do here is going to be level one, actually, because I think I have a pretty good idea of how I want to do this. Okay, so I know right at the start that there's a mushroom that shoots out. I think if you just run to the right, you'll hit it and then hit a slope. So I'm just going to try this. So run right. Okay, and at that point, I can just hold down and just keep going. So not this pipe. I think it's the next pipe or the pipe after that, that you can actually go down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then you can literally just slide down there and that'll set you up for this pipe nice and easily. Okay, then this flagpole will get you star power and that's gonna be really helpful when blindfolded. So I'm just gonna keep running until I can't anymore. Yeah, so then I just do three, okay, and then we're there, okay. Okay, so let's see what all I need to do here. So I need to run until I hit the mushroom, slide down the hill, Okay, wait till I hear him stop. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I'm using the music there to, to figure out how long I need to run before I slide. And then from here, it should be pretty easy. The nice thing about um, the new Super Mario Bros. U and 3D World levels is that you can actually hear Mario's footsteps. Like all the other game styles, you can't hear if Mario is moving or not. So I think I'll have an easier time with those two game styles. So I'm going to try this one. So I'm going to start here. Uh, eyes open, I actually can't see a thing. So, mission accomplished, in other words. <laughs> okay, so the blindfold works, at least. Okay, then I slide. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I forgot the next part. Oh yeah, here's a- okay, so that's a pipe. Damage abuse to a short hop, so I should be on the next pipe, and then the pipe I go down should be right here. Yep, perfect. Okay, up that pipe, and then the flagpole should be right above me. I just keep running. We got it. Okay, that's one. <laughs> one down. Oh my gosh. Okay, that one was actually pretty easy. I don't expect all of them to be that easy, but it's a start, so <laughs> it can be done. I'm not doing these in any particular order. I'm mostly going to be sticking with um, 3D World and New Super Mario Bros. U levels, but besides that, I don't really know how I'm going to do this. <laughs> I could try Bonsai Bill Ambush. Okay, so right off, right off the bat, I know I can uh, long jump twice in a row at least, so I'm just going to keep long jumping and see what happens. Okay, so you can launch up six times. Jump after they disappear. Okay, so this is already halfway through the level. Then I can just keep jumping until I hit the cat suit. Okay, so that, then I can waddle my way over here. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm gonna go about doing this. Actually, wait, if I, if I just run off this, what happens? Oh, that's safe. Okay, that's safe. That's the end of the level. Okay. So if I can, like, get to this platform right here, I'm home free. All I have to do from here is run to the right. So just launch them six times, wait for this guy to disappear, go up and get the cat suit, 
Okay, then I can just... Okay, then I can hold up and right. Oh yeah, so if I just keep holding up and right here, then like that'll get me where... Okay, so then I'm just gonna hold up and right here. That's all I'm doing. I want to see how far this gets me. Okay, actually, I do get to this spot, though. So, like, from there, all I have to do is run to the right. So I just need to know, like, what to listen to. Okay, that's in insanely easy, actually. <laughs> it's literally just, like, holding three buttons to get my way across. Okay, when, when I hear him go, ha, it's like when he jumps up. That's when I know I'm on this platform, and then I can just run to the right. And then when he stops running, just do that. <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty easy. So all I need to do is string it all together, and I'm golden. Okay. Just wish that wasn't in my mouth the whole time. Okay. So long jump. Two, three, four, five, and six. There's the poof. There's the poof. Okay, now the five pole should be right there, so I'm just gonna hop up there. Yep, okay, there it is. So. Okay, that's the coin. There we go, okay. There we go. So now I hold up and right. I think I missed the queue. Okay, hang on, hang on. Okay, so I think I know where I am. I think I'm in, like, that corner that I was in before. Hang on, I can, I can fix this, I think. Wait, am I at the end? I am! <laughs> I made it work! <laughs> Listen, if it works, it works. Um, Seesaw Catapults. I might be able to do this one. I might. I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay, so this first part, there's a giant hole in the floor. Um, I might be able to time this with the music, actually. Hang on. One, two, three, four. One. Okay. I think I'd have to get the um, mushroom here for safety. But the problem here is if I wait here too long, then that cube is going to hit me and kind of erase its relevance. Um, what I could do instead is I could use that as a cue to tell me like where the Koopa is, and I could use the Koopa shell to get rid of all those piranha plants. Okay, so as soon as it hits me... Yeah, as soon as it hits me, I can do a short jump there and it'll come out of the shell. And I can grab it, throw it that way, and it'll get rid of all the piranha plants. Okay. Okay, and then I can ride that all the way down there. Now, if I'm in this corner, I think I can use the music again. One, two, three, four. Okay, so, that's all, so if I'm right here, then I can just let it sit. Then, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so I can make it to here. But I, can, I think I can just run left and then right to the right from here, right? Yeah. Then I have the thwomp. Okay, so one thing I can do, I have those coins there, right? So I can keep walking and, like, do small jumps until I hit the coin. So once I hear that, I know I'm in a good position. Then, one, two, three, four, five, jump. One. And then I'm here. Okay. Then I can just keep uh, going to the left until I hit these blocks. That gives me a mushroom, so I'll collect that. And I can jump up here safely. Most of the time, I'll probably be hitting that Koopa. So I'm just going to run through and see what I can do from here. So I think I can just run all the way to the right. And slide. Okay, so when I hit the sand, I need to, like, slow down or stop or whatever. 
Okay, so I can keep jumping until I can't hit this block anymore. Okay, so then from here, what do I do? Oh, hang on a second. Okay, so so listen to what happens when Mario lands here. You can hear, like, that sa sand effect, right? But if I land on the wood... Yes! Yes, okay, that's a different sound, so I can use that to my advantage. Okay, so what I can do is, like, I can just, like, slowly inch my way over with full jumps until I hit... Until that happens. And when that happens, I can just go a little to the left, ground pound, and get that guy out of the way. Then I can just, like, walk back onto the sand and set myself up again. One, two, spin. And then I need to slow down again, otherwise I'll hit those piranha plants. I can get through if I, like, crouch with some momentum, but I don't know how long I need to hold that for. It'd honestly be easier to do the same than I did before, just, like, slowly inch my way over until I can land on it. Yeah, then I can ground pound and then just run to the right and, I, and then I'm home free, because that's the end of the level. Yeah, this one seems reasonable. Okay, I think I'm going to try this one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. One, two, three, four. Okay, there it is. One, two, three, four, five, and ball jump. Okay, okay, we're halfway through. Okay, so now I just run to the right. Oh wait, did I actually bonk the Koopa? Oh, there we go. I think that's it. Yep, okay. Okay, should have done the same again. I slid down the wall, didn't I? Okay, hang on. One, two, spin jump, go. One, two, spin jump, go. Okay, I, as long as I can remember to do that, I should be fine. Okay. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, four. I think I'm set up right. One, two, jump, four, five, spin, spin. Where am I? Wait. I think I'm in the right spot. <laughs> I'm actually not sure. <laughs> Oh no. No, I'm not. I have no idea where I am. Um. Wait a minute. What? Okay, I think I, I think I know where I am again. I think I'm in the uh, corner after the piranha plants. So, one, two, three. Okay, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, jump, jump, jump. Okay, I, th I think I'm in the area with the bigger piranha plants now, so run left. Yes, okay. Then thwomp, right? Yes, okay, good. One, two, three, four, five, jump. Okay, mushroom. Okay. Okay, go down the seesaws.
Okay, I'm in the corner. Okay, that's out of the way. One, two. Okay, I think I'm in the corner now. Okay, that should be my I think I can just run right now, right? Yes! One more down. Woo! All right, three levels down. I like how for the last two levels, I needed to use like complete improv strats to figure out where I was. <laughs> okay, what's next? Goomba Clubhouse, I think, would be reasonable if there wasn't a section where Goombas kept coming out of a pipe. They also like actually actively chase Mario down. That makes things a little bit harder, too. Ooh, deep in the Windy Valley should be pretty easy. Because most of it's an auto-scroller that I can actually, like, really cheese by staying on one side of the screen. Yes, yeah, so, like, right here, all I need to do is, like, keep running to the right, and I should be safe. There is a mushroom there I can get if I need to, but I think if I just keep running right, I should be alright. Uh, maybe not, actually. Uh... Yeah, I know, that'll hit Mario. Okay, so I just need to run left for a little bit there and then go back to the right side. Once I get to this section and through the pipe, it is so easy. Like, literally, all I have to do is run to the right and jump. I'm literally just listening to the music for my cues here. Okay, I'm gonna try this. I don't think it'll be that hard. I just need to, like, remember when to go left and right and all that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. Nope, that didn't work. Shoot. All right, hang on, let me start over. I jump on five, beats five, eight, four, and five, or, or like just four, right? There it is, okay. And now we chill. Okay, I missed the mushroom. Where's the flower? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. Wait. Okay, that's the mushroom, so I'm on the right side right now. Okay, we're done. <laughs> we did it. Okay, four levels. Yeah, that one was a piece of cake. <laughs> that one was actually really easy. You know, minus the first two times I failed. <laughs> I mean, the only part I didn't do particularly well on was the first two times I tried to do the first room. After that, it was a cinch. Okay, what else? <laughs> this one, 32 is one of the ones that will, I, I can guarantee you, never be done. Just because of how long it is. I'd like to see someone try it, but I highly doubt it'll ever be done. Ooh. We might be able to do red pow block on the move, actually. Okay, so you could keep going until you hit the pow block. Get the mushroom. Run until you hit the wall. Jump three times. Uh, what happens if you just run to the right? Right there you can hear him land, so once I do that I can run left. I need to ground pound those pow blocks. Or I could go over. What happens if I go over? Going over I think would be easier. Going under doesn't seem that bad either, though. Jump, and jump, and... Yeah, okay, I think that can work. Then I can run against the wall, 
Keep going back until I hit this POW block. So if I'm Large Mario and that guy hits me, I have some invincibility frames to work with. Where I can kind of go through the bees. Oh, I could do what I did in um, Seesaw Catapults, actually, where I use his shell, throw it, and hit the POW block that way. And that should get rid of some of the bees. If not all of them. Okay, so I could do that. Can I actually... Yeah, so I can kind of hear Mario hit the water here. Okay, that's pretty reasonable too, so it's like... I don't have to start swimming up as soon as Mario hits the water. Like, there's a little bit of a window there. So I can do that to get him up here, and then I can hit the checkpoint. Run until he hits the POW block, throw it. Go back for another. Uh, okay, if I keep jumping until I get there... Can I throw that far enough? Yes, I can! Okay. So I can just run up here until I hit the wall, jump land here, grab the power block there. This might have to be a Hail Mary strategy. Not a Hail Mary, but like, a guesstimation. Can I hear the different landings here too? Pipe. So there is a different sound effect for if you land on the cloud compared to the pipe. I can use that to tell where I am. If I jump and release the POW block, that'll get rid of the B and hit the exclamation point block. And then I can just jump to the end. Okay. I might be able to do this one. <laughs> I, know, I know I said that about like every other level, but I might be able to. Here we go. So that's the pow, where's the mushroom? There it is. I don't know where that bee is and I'm a little concerned because of it. <laughs> two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, I bopped that guy. Okay, so the pow block should be a little bit to my left, right? Nailed it. Okay, I think all the bees are gone. Checkpoint? Yes, okay. Get POW block. Wait, I picked up the second POW block, right? I actually totally forgot what the level looks like here. I have no clue where I am. Oh wait, there they are, okay. One minute, 37 seconds later. Wait. Wait, what? I am not anywhere where I thought I was. I'm so lost. Oh, I know where I am. Okay, I ended up underneath. So what I thought was that I thought there was a ramp leading up here to the bricks, even though there wasn't, and that's what messed me up. Going at it again. Here's the pal block. Give me that mushroom. Wherever it is. There it is. Okay, still have no idea where that B is. <laughs> it's probably something I should have taken out of the equation earlier, but whatever. I'm just gonna go for it. One, two, three. Okay, there we go. Then I need to go a little bit to the left. Perfect. Clouds. Perfect. Okay, there we go, the bees. Checkpoint. Yep. Perfect. Uh, then what? <laughs> oh yeah, jump up. Pow block. Okay, this is where I screwed up last time. Oh, I'm already there. Nice. Okay, so throw it. Run. I think I just grabbed the POW block. 
Oh geez, I was much further along than I thought I was then, okay. Okay, that did not hit the block I wanted it to. Okay, go, go, go. Okay, I'm on the clouds. Okay, the bee's gone. I just need to run and jump, and I'm home free. Yes! One more. <laughs> oh, holy cow. You know what? Molten Rain might actually be doable. This is normally a really short level, but you need to, like, kill a certain number of lava bubbles to do it. So one thing I'm thinking of here is, like, if I wait on a certain part of the floor, enough of the lava, lava bubbles should hit Mario that they'll get knocked out. I just have to figure out where to stand. Honestly, this is a short enough level that I could probably do this through trial and error. So I'm gonna try that. Okay, where do I want to stand first? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I just run to the end. Yeah, okay. So the last room I just need to jump once I hit the fourth coin. Okay, uh, this one should be pretty easy, I think, actually. <laughs> And I am blind again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, do I just wait here until I hit one more? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> that works. I'm not complaining. Easy. That was actually really easy. Okay. So what, we're up to six? Spiny Busters might not be that bad either, now that I think about it. I think all I need to figure out is the timing for when to hop on the donut blocks. Because the whole point of this one is to uh, kill 15 spinies. But you need thwomps to do it. It's so, like normally you're meant to, you know, like jump on the donut blocks and then like jump off. So you activate the thwomp, but you don't actually get hit by it. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to do this. Because you need to be fairly low on them as well. So I can't just like jump on then jump off. Because if I jump off like even right there, then it won't activate the thwomp. So you need to wait until I'm like low enough. Now, I can use that coin for the first time, but once I collect it, I can't use it as a cue again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so as long as I keep that 1, 8 rhythm, I should be able to do this. Was that first try? It was. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where am I? Am I close enough? I'm worried I'm gonna walk off the right ledge. Okay, no, I'm good. Okay. I can just nail that one first try, I guess. Yeah, that one was not that bad, actually. I thought that one was gonna be a little bit harder. Darkness ahead, darkness below could work. I don't think there's much in this level that can kill you. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so you need to jump. Okay, hear that sound effect, just keep running to the right. Do a large jump. Run left to get the mushroom. Hit that, there's another invisible block here. Fall down there, keep running right. Yeah, so once you hear it, just jump twice. Second time it hits, wait a second, then run again. Then wait. 
After it hits the second time, one, two, three, go, jump. And then just keep jumping to the end. Okay. Yeah, that one also does not seem that bad. So it's like, it's basically the same thing. Second one should be right here. Yep. I think that's it. Yep, we're good. We're good. Home free. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> I think we're making uh, decent progress. We could try Heavy Stone Hevo. Funny enough, in normal speedruns, I actually do have sound cues for this anyway. One. Two, three. So this whole time all I'm doing is hold in right and run and time in my jumps. So for the most part that's pretty simple. I just really need to make sure I have the right rhythm down. So the first two jumps are like coin coin jump coin coin jump. Coin coin and jump. Coin coin and jump. One, two, three. I guess I could use the note blocks too to get myself across. Okay, what happens if I wait here? I get hit by the Goomba, okay. I mean, that, that actually works, too. Yeah, because there are no, like, bottomless pits I need to worry about. Yeah, that seems really reasonable. Like, I think this is going to be another fairly easy level. Shoot. Well, that worked. <laughs> okay, should be at the twister. I'm past the twister. Okay, good. One, two. <laughs> I like with how some of these go. I have to improvise anyway, but it works. That's at least the third or fourth level where I've had to improvise. <laughs> I kind of want to do one more. I want to do like one more to end on an even 10. I just don't know what I want that one to be. I could try Master of the Trees. I'm just concerned that Bully RNG will make my life a live in hell if I try to attempt it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I can climb up here just fine. Jump, jump. Run right and climb up again. Jump, jump, jump. I've t I'd have to be able to tell that I'm on the clouds, though. Not only that, I'd have to be able to gauge where I am on the clouds so I can jump up to this tree. That bully could ruin everything, honestly. <laughs> like, I need to be really lucky with that guy. And then there's that guy who's, like, even worse, honestly. What happens if I do this? Ooh, that'd actually be a pretty good setup. Like, come to the corner. One, two, three, up. That might work for jump, jump, jump. Up. I think I'd have to delay that third jump a little bit. Jump, jump, delay, jump up. Then I'd climb up there. Then I'd have to do like jump, jump to the right, jump to the left, and pray I hit the tree. Jump and jump. If I jump up the tree, I might get there before the bully hits me. If not, I'm a little worried that I'm gonna get bopped off. 
I think I can do this one. Yeah, I just need the bullies to kind of cooperate. <laughs> this is actually one of my favorite levels in the game, so I'd love to be able to beat it blindfolded. One, two, three, four, jump. One, two, three, three, up. Yes! Okay, then what? Jump? Uh-oh. I don't know where I am. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, improvise. I have no clue where I am. Dang it. Okay, so if I get knocked to the left or right, what's the backup plan? So I could jump, jump. Jump, hope I hit the coin, and then just like come up here. That could work. One, two, three, four, jump. Dana, okay, hang on. Yes. Okay, one more tree. I, I think I made it. Oh my gosh, I actually did it. <laughs> okay, I just need to finish, it's not over yet. Yes! Dude, 10 levels! 10 levels done, blindfolded. Oh my gosh. So that's 10 of the 120 levels that I've been able to do blindfolded. I kind of want to see how far this can go. Like, imagine if we get to the point where all 120 of these levels can be beaten blindfolded. That'd be insane. I don't know. Right now, that's just a pipe dream, though. So, I'm glad I did this.